Bom dia! Welcome guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, where we as the Bitcoin Family, today, me and my beautiful daughter, will talk about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. In today's video guys, going to bomb you only with two really cool Bitcoin charts that will show you that you need to watch out. Can you make a scary phrase? Watch out! <laughs> Snapshot for the thumbnail. But Bitcoin is a nearing a very important region and you really need to see the video. In today's video guys, I'm also going to add a part that I already recorded yesterday on the beach, but I couldn't add it yesterday because then the video would again be too long. I just talk too much. She knows this. She can confirm it. I always talk. But in that part guys, I answer two questions of followers. How do you earn money with trading? Because you don't have a job, you just travel. I will explain that. And the second question, really important question is, at what Bitcoin price, Didi, are you going to stop this lifestyle, exchange your Bitcoins into US dollar or Euro and buy a house again? And also together with Julie, discussing the digital Euro and what she thinks about it and what I think about it. Enjoy the video, guys. You got someone new, I know it. Yeah, yeah. But I will keep on and I am. Very cloudy day. Let's see if Julie will keep her promise from yesterday. Julie, are you joining me with filming? Are you going to keep your promise from yesterday? Serious? Are you ready? Let's spin the globe. Choose the next destination. Myanmar. Myanmar, okay. Could be a cool one. Let's go to the beach. Curious. Which logo on the Bitcoin Prime machine do you like most? The huge B. Like the Bitcoin family logo. It's just I know it already, and it's just kind of basic. One more question, really. I know it's early. If you grew up, like if you are independent, not living together with me anymore, yeah. would you buy a pink house like that? Yeah. A pink house. <laughs> Serious. Yeah, it's beautiful. I like that one. So the first thing I'm going to start with today guys is showing you the result of the DD BAM indicator yesterday. Let's take the DD BAM chart with it. BAM! On this chart guys you can see we played the game with $160, 1% of the Bitcoin price with a leverage of 10. Yes I am trading on Dudex and Bybit. So if you want to sign up to do this and buy a bit, do it with the links down below the video because then you will get a sign up or a first deposit bonus that can lead up to $300 or on Prime Equity, for example, to 50% of your total deposit amount. So we started with 160 US dollar yesterday. The first, this is a 15 minute chart, by the way. Sorry, 15 minute chart. We started with 160 US dollar. The first rate was a 1.4% profit. So the leverage of 10 makes this a 14% profit. So the first trade, we increased the 160 US dollar to 183 US dollar. The second trade, um, there was a profit of 2%, leverage of 10, so 20%. From 183 US dollar, we created 220 US dollar. The third trade, again, is short. So we started with 220 US dollar. The profit was only 0.7%, but because of the leverage times 10 is 7%. So we ended this trade with 235 US dollar. That was not a lot of profit, but still it was profit. And the fourth trade guys, that was a long, a long and we had a profit of 2.4% with a leverage of 10, 24%. So the 235 US dollar ended in an end result in 292 US dollar. So we created out of 160 US dollar in four trades, 
292 US dollar, which is an 82% profit just yesterday by using the DD BAM indicator. So, calculation lesson for my daughter. Um, so, if you would have traded with 100 US dollar, yeah. and you would have had a profit of 80%, how much profit would you have made? 80 dollars so you would have made 80 dollars by just watching some charts and pushing the button buy and sell is that not a really easy why am i not doing that that's my question as well <laughs> she should be doing this every morning it could be you can you can make an income out of this but that we will keep till the end of the video because that is exactly what i'm going to show you at the end of the video how we trade and how i make an income every month while we just travel this beautiful world Guys, the biggest question now is about the Bitcoin price, of course, because we are nearing 16,600. Your question now is, Didi, what are we going to do? Is this the start of the bull run? Are we going to 17,000, 18,000, 20,000, 100,000, 1 million? No, not at the moment if it is up to me. I do believe that we can go to 17,400, maybe even to 18,000, stretch it, I'm, I'm like very confident that we are going to see a pullback. And the pullback means this. I'm going to show you this on the beach. Oh, no, she's going to draw it on the beach. Can, can, can you draw how it looks, a pullback? Yeah. <laughs> Bitcoin. Exactly, that's perfect. 18,000 max, max, and this is 20 to 40 percent. But, guys, it means that if the Bitcoin price will go up to 17,000 or maybe even like a wick into 18,000, I believe we will see a correction between 20 and 40 percent. Because I've shown this chart many times to you of the last bull run and we did a lot of runs like this one, 200%, 300% and we always saw this correction. I just want to warn you, be aware, we cannot only go up because then, you know, there is not up, always up. There will always be corrections. This is the market psychology. That's how they call it. Can you pronounce psychology? Psychology. Psychology, yeah. So, in my opinion, I'm seeing now like huge, what is this, like huge oh, jellyfish. But if we go up to 17, 18K, a 20% correction, guys, will be around 3,000 US dollar. A 40% correction is 6,000 US dollar. So from 18K, we could fall down all the way to 15K or even to 12K again. Be aware, always have some buy orders ready around this 12,400 area in my opinion and if we don't fall back that deep then maybe we stop at 14k then you can always delete that buy order and buy at 14k but believe me guys corrections are always part of the market we cannot only go up that were the charts for today guys so let's jump now into the next part of the video the blockchain slash news part this part bam One news item that I read was that Bitcoin can reach a market cap easily of 1 trillion US dollar. If Bitcoin would reach a market cap of 1 trillion US dollar, guys, then, and we would have 21 million Bitcoins at that point, then Bitcoin would reach a price of 47,000 US dollar. If we reach this market cap of 1 trillion US dollar, not when there are 21 million Bitcoins mined, but when there are 18 million mined, Let's take a round number. Let's say we have 18,500,000 Bitcoins that are minted or mined at the moment. So if we reach 1 trillion market cap, how high will the Bitcoin price be? I will give away 100 family tokens to one of the guys that gives the correct answer on this question. So comment down below, give me the answer. If you answer correct, you can earn 100 family tokens. The second short, the second short item I read was about the central bank's digital currencies. Yes, Christine Lagarde, yes, the one from Europe, she said now uh, we will have a digital euro in two to four years. So what do you think about a digital euro? Well, is it like digital with like the government still or really like yeah. Bitcoin? 
no, no. It's like digital, like the government. The, go the government is going to delete all the cash, so all the bank notes and the coins, and it's going to create a digital currency, like called the digital euro, and it's in full control of the government. Yeah. Well, I think it's maybe better if it's digital, but still, Bitcoin would be better because there's no government. No, it, it cannot compete with Bitcoin. No. But can you imagine a world without? physical money, like physical no, notes and, and coins. Yet. I don't think I can. Let's say the world only has like digital money, yeah. Bitcoin, but also from the government. So you don't have cash or coins. So how would you then buy something you want to hide from me? Is that, that's not possible. That's what I'm asking you now. I think the quarter just fell. So again, if we don't have physical cash anymore, only digital money, government money and bitcoins, and you don't have bitcoins, and you want to buy something, but you want to hide it from your dad. Drugs, alcohol, whatever. How do you do this? That's not possible then. No, because I can see your bank account. Yeah. I can see everything you do. That's why I have bitcoin. That's why you have bitcoin. <laughs> bye bye. That's my daughter, that's why she has Bitcoins and that is exactly why you should have Bitcoins as well guys. Because it's not only the CBDC from Europe, Christine Lagarde is stating it. Yesterday I shared with you that the UK is going into digital currency, the United States is going to go into the digital currencies. Every country will and every central bank of a country will create a central bank's digital currency and they will be in full control. I can't repeat that often enough, they will be in full control you need to be in control like she just realized she needs to be in control she needs to have privacy on the spending she does it's not cool for a for a girl of her age to buy illegal stuff and that the dad and mom can track it on the central bank's digital bank account yes did I say that right? Yeah. Am I fighting for the rights of the yeah. kids? <laughs> yeah. I'm doing something stupid, I know, because now she's going to buy drugs in the future and I can't track it. Yes, finally we reached the last part. The last part where Jolie will not be in the video because I recorded it yesterday. But that is the answer on two questions. One question, how can we survive as a family and how do we earn an income as a family being a digital nomad? I will give you an example of this. And the second question was, guys, Didi, at what Bitcoin price, let's say Bitcoin goes to $1 million, will you exchange your Bitcoins back to Euro and are you going to buy a house again? I'm very excited to hear your opinion about what I have to say about this. So please, guys, watch this till the end and please let me know down below in the comments what you think of this, what you think of my mindset of my vision of life, of my vision of living as a family, as a digital nomad. Let me know down below in the comments. She will leave a comment as well, because a lot of people always react to the videos when my beautiful daughter is on screen. They're like, wow, Jolie, beautiful Jolie. But I never see Jolie reacting. I am always responding to them. Maybe she should be the one that responds to your beautiful comments about her. So are you going to help me responding to the comments this yeah. time? Okay, cool. Let's take a look at the answer of those two questions. BAM! I'm just a normal guy that lives a normal life with a normal family. Ah, nah, I'm lying. I'm not a complete normal guy and we don't have a complete normal family because not every family is going all in. So we are a different family but we are living a normal minimalistic lifestyle. And yes, I make profit with trading because I use the DD Bam Bam indicator and sharing this with you because I would love to see more of you out there becoming part of this huge Bitcoin family and living this decentralized lifestyle in freedom. In freedom to decide what you want to do, to decide where you want to be, to decide how you transact value, to decide what to do with your money and all that stuff. And I think trading is a beautiful tool to do this. You need some Bitcoins, not even many. You can even trade with one Bitcoin. If you make 30% profit every month with one Bitcoin, you're already earning like 3K, 4K. You can live a digital life as a family. You only need a laptop, a very good indicator. The Didi Bam Bam indicator could be a good one. Many others there as well. 
but I would prefer you to sign up to the Diddy Bam of Indicator Post and you just start to travel. Our monthly costs are not that big. We have less monthly costs than we had with this normal lifestyle we had. So this is cheaper living for us while we can earn a little bit by just doing what we love to do and not by getting up at six because of this alarm clock because I need to go to a job that I really don't like because I need to listen to a boss that I really hate and all that stuff. I don't choose this anymore. Life can go very fast. You need to live life now. You need to grab life by the balls, as a guy in the Netherlands always said. That is what I did. I grabbed life by the balls and I took a jump into the deep without even knowing what to come. And during this whole adventure, yes, it evolved to a family that now earns an income by trading and supporting crypto to the fullest 24-7. This is not financial advice. Everything I say in the videos is not financial advice. Yes, everything I say about life is live advice. Everything I say about educational things, fundamental stuff, yes, is advice. If it comes to prices, if it comes to the TA of these charts, it is just how I see it, just how I read it, just how I trade it. No financial advice, disclaimer, huge disclaimer. Um, I think I'm going to turn around, guys. I hope the light is still good when I turn around because then the sun will be shining on the camera. So I will film it from this angle, guys. I still need to um, respond to a question somebody asked me below the YouTube video yesterday. I think it was called Lee's Uploads. He asked me, Didi, um, how long are you going to continue this lifestyle? When are you going to buy a house again? At which price does Bitcoin need to reach for you to step out and live a normal life again? I already surely answered down below the video, Lee, if, you are the, if that's your name, Lee. But um, I don't think we are looking for a normal life like we had. I think we are a family that just loves to have this possibility of moving, of movement. I think the future looks completely different than most of us will expect. Maybe because of the flu situation, but also maybe because of the decentralization of the world. I think it's a very old fashioned concept to be educated in a place, then get a job in the same place, buy a house in the same place, and then only visit two weeks a year a place that you really like. But always go back to the place where you started out. I really think this is like a concept from the past and I think now with the possibilities we have the tools we have in this present I think a different lifestyle is possible as well and we as a family are just trying to show you this that you can live a lifestyle by just traveling the world and no you don't need to travel like a week here a week there a week there that is what we did for three years now we chose a family to explore a country to the fullest so Portugal now we will maybe stay three months and if you really like it and we want to explore more, we will maybe say six months. That is what we learned from the past. We learned how the traveling, like from week to week to another place, was not working positively for the whole family. For me, yes, for the kids, less. So now we took a step to create a base. We have this base in Portugal and from this base, we discovered the rest of the country. Yes, we just take weekends to beautiful places or, to just, or go camping in the hills or go camping on the beach or I drive myself and all this stuff is still part of this digital nomad life because maybe after six months we want to visit a different country again and maybe we choose to drive to Switzerland and stay the whole winter season in the Alps of Switzerland or maybe we want to have some more sun we, we take the ferry to Morocco and then we stay three four months in Morocco or even take the ferry to the Canary Islands or even you know just drive back to Turkey we want to be free to live where we want and how we feel at that moment and I, I can only say at the moment with what is going on in the world, lockdowns and all that stuff, I don't see any reason of owning a house. Because is it your house? No. Most of you bought the house with a loan from the bank. And this house belongs to the bank till you paid off the complete house in 30 years. So you're paying a monthly fee thinking the house is yours. But in the end, is it yours? Because the government get to decide if you need to stay in the house or if you need to leave the house when you do something illegal in the house, they are in control. So why would I want to own something that I not really own? You know that I buy it with a loan from the bank already means that I don't own it. The bank is owning it. 
And then even if I paid the house down with cash and I own the house, still the government is in control. They, they determine that I need to pay taxes on the house. They determine that I need to get out of the house when I grow weed in it or whatever, you know, they block your house for a year. They determine that you can't get out of your house when there is a flu. So why would I bother to be owning something that I'm not really owning or not have full control of? So for me, this decentralized lifestyle and for my family is a very luxury lifestyle. Now we live in a beautiful villa here with a pool and a jacuzzi, as you can see. And then we will enjoy that one to the fullest next couple of months. But maybe in the future, we will again be in a tent for six months when the summer is there for six months in a tent on a campsite and enjoy the whole camping season and the whole camping experience. Life, in my opinion, needs to be an adventure. And the only way for me to create an adventure out of life is to be flexible. I don't want to be tied down to one place, you know, where I have such a huge monthly cost that I can't do all the things that I really like. Just compare it with the two weeks you go to Spain on holiday. You love it. Why couldn't life be like this always? It's just the mindset. And if you switch the mindset, if you are able to switch it, that is why I wrote my first book, because I want to help the people get over this fear, this fear of losing everything, because you won't lose everything. You will only win. And that is why I make these videos. I want to convince you guys that an alternative lifestyle is possible. It doesn't need to be like you're living now. And if you're completely happy, please keep living that life like this and keep watching my videos for the Bitcoin information or for everything else. But if you're not happy, man, then just contact me. I will try to help you and give you all the assistance to understand the mindset we created to live this lifestyle. So that was the answer on this question. Thanks, Lee, for asking and thanks for giving me this. And I hope that other people that see this start to ask questions down below this video just ask everything because i can create content out of this i can reply to your questions in my videos and we can educate not only you but everything everybody out there that might be running around with the same question but didn't think about asking it down below in the comments that was everything for today guys i hope you really enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video please give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment because i love to respond to your comments thanks for watching i wish you an amazing weekend by the way tonight i will have another short video for you guys because that was part of the surprise i have for you guys so make sure you watch my twitter and all the social media all the discord channel tonight because there will be another announcement that i need to make as a surprise for you guys you will really like that one and again in this weekend Please zoom out in Bitcoin and you need to zoom in, in life. on life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what life is about. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bye.